what is going on guys, Hex Competitive back again today with a brand new video and as always down in the title below and I know it's been two days and I'm sorry first off, but as always down in the title below will be the topic we're talking about today. So basically I'm here to let you guys know there's going to be a top 10 video coming, my top 10 favorite anime. Now, before we get into anything else, I want to let you guys know, because a lot of you guys are like, well, will you do a top 10 for this? Will you guys do a you know, we do a top 10 for this hex or, and or that. Well, the thing is, this top 10 is actually because of William Lawler. He was a Patreon. If you guys want to check out my Patreon, there should be an annotation here, here, or maybe it's going to be roaming around. If you want me to do video requests, you have to be a Patreon. And you can go check out the rewards there and I can go into that. But that's why William Lawler is getting the top 10 in which he requested. But yeah, once again... Check out the annotations floating around or the description below. But now I want to talk about the top 10 itself. So I'm actually leaving out certain animes of this top 10. I'm leaving out biased animes because I really want this to really just be, you know, dedicated towards animes. One, I really think the writing is amazing. Two, I really believe I'm not, I'm not putting in there because a certain value to them. Like Bleach, Fairy Tale won't be there. Yes, yeah, a lot of you guys are like, no, hey, put the Fairy Tale in. Well, not in this video. Maybe if you were down the line. But at the same time, so Bleach, Fairy Tale, Naruto won't be in there. High School DxD won't even be in there. I know a lot of you guys are like, no, shit. You got to do the top 10 best girls in High School DxD, not that hex. Come on now, man. But hey, like I said, you can check out the Patreon if you want that. So yeah. But I'm not putting those animes in there simply because it's just. I can't because it's not me truly speaking from a reviewing, you know, standard point. It's me being biased. And sentimental value, because there's so much sentimental value in, like, a show like Naruto, which, I mean, it, started, it got my anime career rolling. I think I did at least sort it online in there. I believe I did. But at the same time, I don't have shows in there like Bleach, because, I mean, there's a lot of sentimental value to that, too. Um, fairy Tale, there's a huge, there's a huge amount of sentimental value in Fairy Tale for me. Huge. It's probably the most out of all of them. And DxD, it's just, it's, it's really another anime that got me. It's kind of a gateway anime. It's really one that kind of like flushed me into a whole new genre of anime outside of like just the action, the Sword Art Lines, and the Naruto and Bleaches. Like, you know, the comedy aspect too. And, and it even got me into the harem and somewhat of romance in the, in the sense kind of genre, you know. But yeah, we all know High School DxD is unique for God's sake. But, <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to be leaving those out there. I just want to make this announcement that it is coming. And yeah, other than that, guys, as always, you've been hexed. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Hex25, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. So, is it okay if I start off by talking about the uh, the ending really quick here? And so, we go to this dungeon, and everything's good. And you know, they actually like made out with what they set out to get, which is treasure. And I just, want, I just, I just want to talk about the whole steel thing. So, towards the end, there, you know, the last like 30 seconds, we have Kazuma using his move steel. And it was like chanting, steal, 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 steal. And he en ends up stealing this girl's panties once again. And they're all getting excited about it. They're cheering it on. He's just waving up in the air. And they're just fist pumping. And I, I, I was at a loss for words. I was kind of like, they, they, they love this guy. They, they love this dude that came out of nowhere. And really, I don't want to say Kazuma's a bad adventurer, but in the sense of he... He's not a fighter. We noticed that, like, that's up to, really, Aqua. I mean, she's the one with power. Same thing with Megumin. But Darkness is kind of, I don't know, Darkness is really just a shield, per se. Um, I mean, I guess she hits sometimes. But, I mean, Cosmo's really, he's just that guy that's supposed to be, like, a, kind of, he's not supposed to be a fighter. He's not, you know, he's not a frontline guy. He's the guy that's behind them, right? And to see this guy go from zero to like hero in a sense just cracked me up be like beyond imagine you know i i just didn't know how to take that i, <laughs> I was like what is going on there's like kazuma and he just steals the paint and starts waving them around and then you see the guy like pulling out all the waitress saying panties i'm like <laughs> dude that shit was hilarious but um so we start off this episode with we, with Megumin and Cosmo skipping, saying explosion, explosion, and then la 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 la. It's kind of like okay, okay, what? Okay, this is how we're gonna start off. What's going on? And he, you know, it doesn't matter what the day was, whether it's snowing, tornadoes out, and he, you know, he, he like states that, and then he kind of comes back, you know, comes back to his realization, like, what the hell am I doing? What am I doing? I'm skipping every day, singing a song about explosions that only has the lyrics of explosion, explosion, la la la, and I'm getting nowhere. 
Like, I, this man's getting nowhere. And I'm just kind of like, Jesus Christ. Like, my thumbnail is probably going to be of that scene. Literally, it's probably going to be of that scene. But, <laughs> so, the eventual lady actually ends up holding uh, a, little, a little quest for him so they can go on it. No one, you know, gotten to see yet so they can pay their debt. And they're going to a dungeon. And the whole dungeon thing was hilarious in the sense that he actually wanted to leave Aqua there. Especially as he found out that undead are attracted to holy powers. Like, they sense it. And they're like, oh, shit, it's the opposite of us. Let's go kill it or devour it. Whatever the hell they got to do. And he's going to leave her there. And whenever he lurked away, that was hilarious. But I want to hop on to Keely, the fucking quote unquote dark mage and he's he's not even bad at all but he actually you know turned himself into a lich and he's been keeping this girl's harboring this girl's dead girl's body that he is married to and just says her clavicle is beautiful like okay well what, what's wrong with this guy he seemed cool but like what the hell i mean cosme said he's a pretty cool guy but this guy's weird just letting her lay there staring at her loving her rubbing on her clavicles and shit what the hell oh yes her clavicles are amazing but uh she he ends up getting purified and well, did anyone catch like what aqua said you'll see it see a woman with like ratherly large breast and she's like basically saying hey they're not real they're fake but i want to uh close this video off with the whole uh aqua can see in dark and you know cosmos kind of like so every time you heard me wrestling in the stables um, she's like, every time I heard you doing that, I just turned away and faced the other way and tried to go, you know, go back to sleep. And he's just kind of like, he has that, like, dumbfounded look on his face. He's like, thank you, Aqua, thank you. And I'm not sure what he was implying. I have an idea that he was implying something, and I don't know if you guys caught that. I'm not sure. Don't quote me, and maybe I'm just, my head's in the gutter. Maybe I'm an Issa Hiyoto pervert. But I think he was, uh implying uh something like with a motion like this but except you're not running i think i'm gonna end this video here i i i think i'm gonna end this video here i i think i'm gonna end this video here